All right, here's what to expect here for this slate for the KBO in the early morning to get you going. When you look at it at first glance here on DraftKings, where we're playing on Wealthy Fantasy Football, I want to invite you also to uh, get into, through the description of the link, click on the Wealthy Fantasy Football link, and then read through as a quick rundown and get into the Discord area. There's a big link for that there, so I can give you more information in more detail, especially regarding the hitters. So this will only overview basically the pitchers. So at first glance here, as you can see, when you arrange this uh, slate today in fantasy points per game for the pitchers, um, C. Lim of LG, I'm not going to try to pronounce the names, that's not necessary, uh, is far and above at 26.5. Now this could mislead a lot of people potentially to play him, making him chalky, as a large percentage of people would play him at only 6,900 as one of the best salary savers here on the slate as well. And then another option, since you got to you know, play two players on DraftKings is Mike Wright at 9,000, however, 18.5, or actually Buchanan would be the second chalkiest guy. But what I've actually come up with is I'll tell you now why Cuevas is really to be or should be the highest or best pitcher on the slate. And that is because over here, on WealthyFantasyFootball.com, you're basically going to see the same thing once you hit this site. Is this rundown here of, like I mentioned, Cuevas being number one. Now, that sounds kind of scary because he did have a, at least one uh, sub-10 point game, I believe. Well, let's just see. So not to scare you off from him, but uh, when you click on his... Fantasy points, well, the average is 9.9. .9. So the log showing here, he only scored five points in the first outing. So there was an adjustment period there, obviously. Um, he did have some stats, I believe, last year. Let's just take a look at here. The KBO stats, great resource, number one resource, really, to look at all these different stats, um, team-wise and so forth. But um, focusing on Cuevas again, and if you click on his name there, right within the matchups for today's KBO games, you'll see here uh, he did pitch last year. He had an excellent 3.6 ERA with a 1.17 whip. Uh, I like to look over here as you slide over to um, strikeouts to walk ratio. If this is below 50% of the strikeouts when you compare the walks to the strikeouts. So this is very good with these numbers here for this pitcher. Um, 18 home runs in you know a total of uh, 184 innings pitch is not bad, so you can go back to the well so to speak this year. Not that many people were playing last year. Uh, when it comes to Cuevas, in his two games he did have one quality start the last previous game, and so you can look to fire him up as the best of the night. And then also Lim from LG, as I believe I saw him here. At the top of the list, let's just make sure to confirm. Lim, yes, because he had a couple really good outings, as we can just click on him to see, uh, to kind of confirm, you know, that he probably is worth the number two pitcher slot on your roster, I would say. Looking at his previous two games, or was it one game? It appears it was. Uh, he's 1-0. He allowed, I wonder how many hits here. Doesn't show me. It'll show me over here anyways. On the particular pitcher with the last name Lim. It's a good matchup by This is the pitching matchup right here. Probably Lim versus Buchanan. Uh, actually, more so Jang versus Cuevas. So these up to the top here, pitching matchup matchups, when you work your way to the bottom here. Uh, except really for Chow. Uh, this, these teams are really um, to take from when it comes to hitters for today, I notice. Um, then when you go to, though, uh, here he is, Lim. He pitched one game, as you can see through here, hopefully. Um, he allowed five hits. That's what I was looking for. Seven strikeouts, but no walks. So he's efficient so far this year. As he seems to be like an improving guy, as I have noted here, 27-year-old righty. I don't notice any lefties, so we're looking at attacking when we can, taking advantage of lefties, 
in these particular matchups just so we can get some better uh, players in, hopefully throughout your lineups as they're confirmed early morning a.m. So if you want to confirm with me also as far as your batting lineups, also check in there through the Wealthy Fantasy Football blog. I want you to click there and then click um, read through into the Discord channel area, and that'll be easy to do for you. I hope all goes well with your lineups. Uh, so this is a pitching rundown, and we'll give you more on the inside um, as far as the hitter, best projected cash, and even uh, tournaments. Hitters, once inside there, uh, give you a few ideas on the blog itself, but you must get into the Discord to get a full uh, cash and GPP pool of players. All right, talk to you later.